You just gonna keep wiggling it until it wiggles the way you want it to wiggle. I should get like tell him make the boy say hey, hello because hey, I know I'm hey, rocking the beat. Hey, wow, tis, tis. Missy Missy. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Tiana G, AKA T, and today we're gonna be making one of my favorites, a classic, halo halo. Halo halo is a traditional Filipino dessert. It means to mix mix. There's lots of different components in halo halo. It's really just about shaved ice, a bunch of different condiments. Kind of like a choose your own adventure vibe, but you pretty much just wanna like layer and add flavors. Typically we're just gonna mix it. Summer is coming up, it's right on time. This is the perfect dessert to cool down and Mix it up. Let's get started. Caramel is essential for flan. It's gonna be pretty much what goes on the bottom of our baking dish. And then once we flip it over, once it's cooked, all this caramel is just gonna ooze on top of it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna turn my induction burner on and then I'm going to add my sugar. Right now I can like move it because there's no water in there. I kind of want to go even layer as much as possible. Once the water is in there, I cannot touch it at all. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna try to go like on the ends as much as possible. So that's gonna take a while to get caramelized. We don't want this to move. We don't want this to stir at all. If I were to put a spoon in here or mix it around, it'll start to crystallize. I don't know, it's science. Just don't <laughs> move it around. When that's happening, I'm gonna get into separating some eggs for our custard. I like to do the, the shell to shell. You can totally use your hands too. Why not? Live your best life. And so while she's doing that, I'm going to start shucking the corn for one of the garnishes, which is just a uh, sweet corn. You're gonna put the corn into your sheet pan, and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of season it a little bit. Sugar, salt, a little bit of oil. Let's mix it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven at 350. Flan is like one of my favorite things. It's like one of those like, main concrete Filipino dessert. True. Coconut is also a very big deal in the Philippines, which is why we're making a coconut leche flan. So I have some egg yolks here. I am going to pop them into a larger bowl because we're gonna mix some things up. Halo, halo. <laughs> I'm gonna just break them up a little bit. Add some vanilla, some coconut milk. Also have some condensed milk. Condensed milk is like... It's key. So key. We love condensed milk. I used to drink that straight up when I was little. <laughs> And then I have a little bit of salt because every sweet thing mm -hmm. needs a little salt. Yep. Give it a nice little mix. Whiskey, whiskey. So this is the custard part of the flan. Now that I've mixed it up, I'm going to strain it because there might be any kind of like, maybe like some chaleza, which is that little stringy thing in the egg. And you want your flan to be as luscious as possible. You don't want anything ruining that nice luscious goodness. Okay, so the caramel is still caramelizing. As you can see, there's like a layer of like crystallizing blanket right on top. We're pretty much just waiting for all of the sugar to catch the same heat. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. I just wanna mm -hmm. be careful Very because cool. I don't want it to burn. And yeah, we're gonna get into the mango jello. Mangoes are my favorite fruit and also an essential fruit in the Philippines. So we're gonna go ahead and break down the mangoes. We're using honey mangoes. Those are the best mm. kind of mangoes. What I like to do is I like to stand it on its butt after you slice a little piece of it and then peel it like pineapple almost. There's gonna be a bone in the middle of this, which is my favorite part of the mango. Do you call it a bone too? <laughs> yeah. It's really a seed, but like my family calls it a bone. Yeah, it's mango bone. Mango meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mango this is you the want. Mango, right? This is the mango you want because if you get the green one, it's gonna be too tart and you want it to be sweet. We usually have the mango tree outside of my house in the Philippines. And so I would just eat all these mangoes all day and it's super nostalgic right now, just like cutting mangoes and thinking about it. Thank you, sir. It's the key. You see me eyeing it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mmm. Mm. It's like tart it's and sweet at the same time. It reminds me of like how Filipino food is so about sour, salty, mm -hmm. sweet. All right, so I'm gonna take this out of the pan immediately because it's VV hot. Sugar goes really, really quickly. So like if you noticed how at first it was kind of just like not doing much, it started crystallizing a little bit on the top because it was cooler on the top than the bottom. And yeah, you kind of just wanna like keep an eye out for it. Sugar moves really, really quickly. It'll burn really quickly. As soon as you see it get pretty dark, you want to make sure you're taking it off of there. So now that we have this layer of caramel on the bottom, mm -hmm. very cool. Now we're going to steam our leche flan. A bain-marie means water bath. It is French for water bath, and that's exactly what it is. You use it to steam because if I were to put this inside the oven without the water, I would make scrambled 
eggs. So I have some pretty, oops, I'm spilling water all over my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to get water into the custard, so I'm kind of being like scary about it. So if you want to, you guys can put the water in first, which is a smart thing to do. Okay, so now that I spilled water all over the place and realized that I poured way too much water into my bain marie, I'm gonna put the custard back in here. You just wanna make sure the water and the custard are lined up. So if you guys wanna have one of these beautiful, fancy casserole dishes, you guys can use a roasting pan, something that pretty much just holds water that also does well with heat. All right, so awesome. She's gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. Beep, beep. All right. Once the flan comes out of the oven, we are going to let it chill at room temperature before putting it into the fridge because it's kind of like shocking the flan almost. You want the flan to like solidify. So first, we're gonna go ahead and mix the large amount of mangoes that we have here. Lovely. Then we're gonna mix the mango nectar in here. Mango nectar, uh, pureed mango. I'm gonna zest the limes for you. Pop it in there and then we'll bloom the gelatin and our water and then we'll add the gelatin water into this pot. Uh, oh, by the way, vegetarians out there, you guys could totally use agar agar instead of using gelatin and it's cool because you guys don't have to heat it up. You can just throw the agar agar in there and then let it do its thing. It's gonna solidify. So what I'm doing with the gelatin right now is I'm blooming it. What you wanna do is have the gelatin dissipate from the, the mix itself and you wanna use warm water to activate it. So we're just adding a little bit of lime zest and lime juice into this just to brighten it up a bit. The mango puree plus the, a little bit of the mango nectar, a little bit of this lime zest, lime juice is really gonna open it up a little bit. Salt. We'll have a little bit of those aromatics in there, but also it will create the acidity that you kind of need for this dish. So we're not boiling it or simmering it at all. We're just bringing it up to almost a body temperature. And you can tell if it's your body temperature by sticking your finger in it and seeing if it's hot enough for you to not keep your finger in there. And then we're gonna lay it down into our handy dandy pan here. So I saved some of the mango to create a kind of like a mango garnish. The color of this thing is amazing, right? It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge. Miss T. I must do the honors. Yes, ma'am. This is the finished product for the jello itself. As you can tell, it's not wiggling as much, so that means it's solidified. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and cut out some of this jello. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit of leche flan. This is coconut water that we had frozen. I love coconut. I named my dog coconut. It could yes. be plain water, but so, it just adds a nice coconut taste. So you uh, press down the side. Fancy. And if you don't have one of these fancy uh, Hawaiian shaved ice machine, you can get um, a metal scraper that they, they you can get it from a store. And you can just like scrape like a block of frozen ice. My mom just eats shaved ice. <laughs> like she yeah, there is some old people. Shit. Typically, Hall Hall is served with ube ice cream. Ube is another you know essential ingredient in the Philippines. This my favorite ube ice cream. How come you got two pints over there, B? Money, bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Let me get the <laughs> Here <ice> you go. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this ish, cuz. All right, All right. Moment of truth. We're gonna taste the rainbow here. All these beautiful colors and treats and textures. This is a child's dream right here. I'm gonna make a big one. <laughs> I like to build mine first with a little bit of a base. Mm -hmm. And then this is pandan with some condensed milk. Pandan is a leaf. It's a very essential flavor in the Philippines. Um, usually it's typically regular condensed milk, but I was like, you know what? Pandan's one of my favorite things. Pieces of flan. These Beautiful kind of flan treasures. And then we have these uh, sweet red beans that is pretty prominent in the Philippines and some kind of Southeast Asia. Yeah. I grew up not liking the red beans, but. Yeah. I like macapuno on the bottom too. Macapuno. Uh, macapuno, which is shredded coconut meat that's been cooked down in a simple syrup. It's silky. It's like a, a nice little gem to find in the bottom of your halo halo. And then we have some tapioca curls that got cooked in some coconut milk. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> You're like a kid in a candy shop right now. <laughs> then I'm gonna put some of this. Jello. Jello. Yeah, I like strawberries. And then we have some palm seeds that are in syrup. You can buy them clear. You can buy them either in red or green. And most of these things are all available in your local Asian stores. You're making my ice melt. Hurry up. Don't rust magic. A little bit of the meat pig. Which is just pretty much puffed rice flake. It's just for texture. Yeah. You can also use Rice Krispies, which is basically the same. And then uh, coconuts. 
That's the Herald I know. I make a little. Leche uh, flan on top. I gotta make a little a bed for the Beautiful. ice cream. Oh my gosh. Put it this on top. Boom. Mm, a little bit of. Yes. yes. I love it. Look how it's just overflowing. Mm. All right, let the queen step yeah, in, please. In let me build my hollow hollow. On the bottom, I like to put some leche flan because I like to have a little surprise at the bottom. Then I'm gonna add some ice. And of course, you can have the pandan. And then I like to do tapioca. And then I'm gonna do mango jello cubes. And then I like to do corn. This is making me so excited. Some more ice. Macapuno. A little bit of thwabe weave. And then leche flan again on top. Yeah, you need to make the bed for the ice cream. It's key. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of pinay peg. Ube malted crunch. Yes. Last but not least, coconut. Cause I'm a coconut lover. Bang, bang. That's it. The key thing for me is- Wait bro, cheers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Savage. Cheers. Cheers. Alrighty. Mmm. I start from the side right here and I let the, the ice cream melt all the way to the bottom. I like to save the ice cream to the last. So hollow hollow pretty much just means to mix mix. It's usually in a large glass like this and you have like a pretty long spoon. You want to kind of like mix all those flavors up. I like to keep my ice cream a little bit separate so it's like something I can kind of like always go back to. Mm. What's your favorite part about the hollow hollow? When you hit the let you fly and it's just like it's just like a surprise. I like that there's like beautiful little treasures mm -hmm. in each little bite. The key thing is you gotta eat fast so the ice won't melt. You know I like what when I mean? it melts. This right here is the perfect dessert for when it gets hot outside. And it's super fun too. Like just imagine if you have all of this out, all your friends come over. It could be a whole communal thing. We try to keep it as traditional as possible, but you can elevate it and add your own flavor to it. Choose your own adventure. Live your best life. See you soon, South Bronx all day. Peace. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, baby. You already know. Nobody makes this from scratch. This one. Except for us. Yeah, because we're fancy.